If you're looking for the latest information about Inquisitor Martyr, then you've come to the right place. We're going to be doing a video today talking about the latest community letter written by Neocourt, the developers for Inquisitor Martyr. And we're going to get started right now. So guys, I know this is the third video in a row that we're doing on the state of Inquisitor Marty right now, but this is a topic that is so hot and so important to talk about for people that own the game, for people thinking of buying the game, and for people looking and wanting to know more about the game. This is really, really hot stuff. Just been released today by the developers and a great sign of developer communication and transparency. So what they've done is they've posted within social media, within their forums, both Steam and their own website, a lot of information regarding some key faults they have admitted with their current system or rather concerns that they have recognised within the community and things that they're looking to actively address. And as well as that, we also have news and a fairly specific plan as to what the developers are going to be doing in order to fix these issues. So without any further ado, let's crack on and have a look and see what they've come up with. The key issues that they have recognised and accepted are that players generally do not like daily fate limits or the concept of it, as well as any caps on how far we can progress the game or any form of gating mechanic implemented within the game. As well as that, that also covers daily quests, which they feel that quite a few players don't actually have much sort of fondness towards, as it really again is a form of gating mechanic and does slow the progress down of people that want to invest more time into the game. As well as that, there seems to be a few concerns from quite a few players, and rightly so, that there may be a lack of end game content, and many people are also Worrying that Inquisitor Martin may turn into a free-to-play game, given that there are some things that have been perceived as gates, yet again they've reminded us that's not going to be the case. And that is mainly the wrap-up, as well as some minor issues as well, such as people thinking that crafting takes too long and that the speed of levelling is too slow at the moment. But what they've done here is they've explained that the current system in place was actually designed when they initially came up with the game concept over three years ago. So this was actually designed for the previous power level system, which has now changed. And they've admitted after having a staff meeting that some of these features may well need to be reviewed. And they have put down a fairly specific plan as to things they're going to do to try and address some of these concerns. And I think you'll all agree that this is rather exciting stuff. So first up, they have confirmed that there will not be any fate limits whatsoever. There will not be any fate caps and we can basically grind through the game at whatever pace we need. Something that they're going to do to help with this is they're actually looking to remove the daily quest system as they're somewhat divided on this, but it seems that the conclusion is that having incentives to have shorter session times is perhaps something not preferable within the game. So they may look elsewhere into providing incentives for players to log on and play, but it looks like the daily quest system is going to go. I'm personally a bit sad about this. I feel like it needed balancing. It was far too high a discrepancy between daily missions and rewards, but hey, if it needs to go, fair be it. And as well as that, they've also said yet again for about the 12th time that they, you will not ever be able to buy fate. It's never been discussed within the meeting and it's not something on their agenda or even within their financial plans for the game. So that's about as much as they can say on that subject. Now, moving on from here, DLCs is something else that's been fairly hot to talk about. And DLCs, they have confirmed that again, they will be supporting the game in terms of DLC content, but they are not currently working on anything other than the next patch. So that's something that anyone that's concerned about them wasting time spending on future marketing strategies right now, that's not the case. They're working on the current stuff or so they're telling us. And don't worry, they're not wasting time. But well, I say wasting time. They're not creating content right now that they're going to put behind a paywall and sell to us as DLC. We're not going to see another Total War Warhammer incident right here. Now, there's also confirmation that the end game focus is going to increase a little bit, which is rather exciting. They've made a few mention of a couple of features they already have in development, but of course we don't have any details on them at the moment. But it's a nice direction to go in because it is, well, what us players are used to within ARPGs. You get to the end game, you get access to fun stuff. 
and hopefully that keeps you there for long enough until the next content drops. So we'll have to wait and see what they actually come up with. They've mentioned the war zones. Um, I don't exactly know what that is. I don't think we can expect a battleground like World of Warcraft. I don't think that's ever going to be feasible in a game like this. But they've mentioned war zone mechanics, end game things, arenas, endless missions. So for those of you that want to play endless missions without having to load into another one, that perhaps is exactly what you guys are asking for. We'll have to wait and see what they implement. One last thing that they are changing as well, or have said they will change some degree of, is the speed of leveling as well as the speed of crafting. Now they've said that these things will be fine tuned and in with crafting in particular, they've said please wait until the final two revisions of crafting have been added because at the moment it seems that their intention is that we can create very specific items and that will be very very effective in terms of gearing up so they're going to adjust some timers and make them what they feel is appropriate but of course we're going to give feedback along the way and go from there and again for the fate leveling etc etc that's going to be fine-tuned as well and they have said that they will speed up leveling accordingly and of course get rid of the five or eight billion mark that it is between 50 and 51. Now that is pretty much everything but there is one very important thing to take into account from all this. If they're doing another revision of the leveling process then there has to be unfortunately another wipe because well they need everyone to level again to see how the results go and see how everything works out. So for those of you that were told that there probably wouldn't be a wipe, well, we did all say probably. So I'm afraid there will be a wipe, and hey, well, that's just how the cookie crumbles if you want to make the game better. And I think that it's safe to say, and I think most of the community will agree, suffering a wipe now when we're going to get wiped anyway um, in launch is not such a bad thing if it leads to a better experience in the end. So hopefully everyone, or hopefully the majority of players are happy with the changes. I personally think they couldn't have done a better job in articulating or at least addressing a lot of concerns that players have. For me, this is a really good example of communication and transparency done right. I have played many games and never heard a thing from developers until they release a patch and it's not what you want at all. But those of you that want to articulate your views, leave them down in the comments below. I'd be really curious to hear what you would like in terms of endgame content, because for me it's going to be the main, perhaps, the main factor in how well this game survives. So what would you like in endgame content? Let me know down in the comments below. And as well as that, let me know what you thought of the new intro. Pretty green, pretty swish. Let me know what you think. And the final thing before I leave you, quick shout out to my single Patreon who managed to find my site even though it's not been launched yet and still become a patron. I've not put a credit reel together yet to thank everyone individually, but I'd just like to give a little shout out to Dewey because he's a bro. Guys, have a great week and see you next time.